can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. Given this semicircle with a radius of 9 units. Now, let's draw two congruent chords with a measure of 6 units. And finally, let's draw a chord with a segment of X. Now, the question is, what is the length of segment X? So, pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question. Because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so given this figure, the goal is to find the length of this segment, X. And to answer this kind of question, what we're going to do is to duplicate this figure. And let's have a line that divides this semicircle like this. Now, from here, let's focus on this segment with a chord measure 6 units and X units. Now, if we rearrange these two segments in this segment, take note that we can fit perfectly this X and this 6. So, what I mean is like this. So, we rewrite this such a way that we have here two congruent segments and this segment X is fit right on the top. So it follows that this segment X is now parallel to the diameter of this semicircle. And now, we will use this concept, this figure to answer this question. Alright, now, let's use this segment because this segment will create a right angle like this. Because this triangle, the hypotenuse is the diameter, so technically this is a 90 degrees. Now, if this is 90 degrees, we know that the radius of the semicircle is 9. And we can now find this length. So let's call this as y. So using Pythagorean theorem, we have y squared equals 18 squared minus 6 squared. Simplify this, we have 324 minus 36. y squared equals 288. Get the square root on both sides, and we take the positive value for y. And y simply equivalent to 12 multiplied by square root of 2. And that is the length of this segment y and from here what we're going to do is from this point let's drop a perpendicular line like this and let's call this as z now we see two similar triangles in this figure so one is this small right triangle and the other right triangle is this big right triangle with the hypotenuse is the diameter of this circle. So using the similarity of these two right triangles, we can say that Z or this length will be the hypotenuse 12 times root 2 is equivalent to the smaller leg 6 over the hypotenuse 18. And solving for the value of Z, 6 over 18 is 1 over 3. Multiply both sides by 12 times square root of 2, we get that z equals 4 times square root of 2. So the length of this c is equivalent to 4 times square root of 2. Now from here, what we're going to do is from this point, let's drop again another perpendicular line. Now by symmetry, these two segments are technically the same thing. So let's call this as a and the other one is a. So in short, this segment in the middle part, must be equivalent to 18, the whole diameter, minus 2 times a. Which is this 18 minus 2a is the same thing as x. So if we get the value of a, we get also the value of x. And now using this right triangle right over here, we can now solve for the value of a. So using Pythagorean theorem, we have 6 squared, a squared equals 6 squared minus 4 times square root of 2 raised to the power of 2. Simplify this, we have 36 minus 32. 36 minus 32 is 4, and square root of 4 is simply equal to 2. Now we know a is 2, so we get the value of x. So let's replace this a with 2, and we have 18 minus 2 times 2 or 4, and 18 minus 4 simply equal to 14. And that is the length of this segment, x. Therefore, Given the original figure, we can say that the length of the segment x simply equal to 
14 units. And as always, we are done.